Hello friends, welcome back to Learning Points. So in this series, we are going to create a full stack application with the Laravel and Angular latest version. So we'll create sign up, login and profile section for a user using the JWT authentication. And last day we have installed this Laravel and Angular project inside your application. If you don't see this video, you can check my playlist. And here we are opening these two projects inside the Visual Studio code. So actually this is my editor, here we'll code and in this video we're going to install the JWT. So let's search Laravel JWT. So use Laravel JWT and here you can see the Laravel installation JWT authentication. So just click on this and here we'll get the full step. So just use this. So before that we have a two application running inside my terminal this is the back end that's the laravel and this is the front end that is angular so let's open another tab so that we don't need to stop the server so this is for back end so we are using the laravel jwt inside our back end so let's paste this here and just install this so composer require team on jwt authentication your requirements could not be resolved to an installable set of package. Actually, we are using the latest PHP version that is the PHP 8.0, but they are not updated their package. So let's ignore the platform requirements. So just use ignore platform requirements. So light platform requests. Okay. So let's try again and you can see this is installing so Laravel so Laravel JWT are installed into our application and the next things we need to install the boot steps so because we are going to create a navigation menu here so I will install the boot step so simply write angular boot step okay so this will use inside the front end so just go here and here you can see the installation that is the ng add bootstrap ng bootstrap okay so just copy this and if you just go here so you can see the angular project also running so let's create another tab so this is the front end so i'm going to install the bootstrap into the front end so that's the reason i'm pasting here and let's enter this so it will install bootstrap into your application so it's saying the package will install and execute would you like to proceed obviously why not so just press yes and finally it's installing the packages so package.json is updating and then we'll install the npm and all those the requirement things with the bootstrap will update so you can see the src app module.ts is updated angular json is updated and polyfill.ts is updated so let's see what is actually updating so if you just go inside the front end so we are opening these two things and you can see the angular json so directly just go to the style section so here this bootstrap.min.css is added as we are installed the bootstrap and the next thing is app module.ts so if you just go inside the src and inside the app app module ts is updated so what is actually updated so basically this ng bootstrap is updated and this is using into the import section also right so all the things are added so we can use the bootstrap so just go here and get bootstrap i want to use the navigation so i will just remove the default page and will add the navigation like uh, login logout or something so what i need will do this right so just to get started and just search with the navbar okay so this is the navbar and let's choose so here is the option that is the navigation section so i want to use some clear navigation so simply we we'll use the login and logout or profile section so i need this kind of things so that they will have a, the project application name 
and there will have some buttons or menu so just copy this yes. and we need to paste inside the navigation section so before that we need to create a component so let's create a different different component for each purpose okay so for navigation i want to create a navigation component so this is super easy so if you want to create any component you can use ng ng for angular g for generate c for component and the component name is suppose snapper so if you just enter this a component will create but in our application we may need many of the components like if i want to add the login they will have separate component for login if you want to use the profile if you want to use the sign up then different different components will need so that i want to create a separate folder for all components so inside that folder all the components will be there right so i am creating a folder that is components right and inside the components folder all the component will create so let's enter this and you can see the navbar component is ready so when you create any component basically the four files will create one is the typescript file that is the main ts file and then the component dot html file so all the views will be here and all the html will be here and if you want to styling some things you can use the component dot css file and this is simply a component spec dot ts file okay and when one component will create a app dot module dot ts is also update so if you just go here app dot module dot ts and you can see the navbar component is added so that we can use inside our application and along with this this is the navbar component and these are declare in the navbar component all right so all are ready by default that is the super things for angular right so now if you just check here we are getting a folder that is components and all the components related files here right so not all the components this is the navbar related uh, files here the navbar is itself a component so if we just go here and let's print some things so just go to the browser and let's print something here so i want to remove these things so let's find from where these things are coming super easy so if you just go here app component dot html so all the things are coming from here so just to remove all those things and here you can see these are became blank but i have not refreshed these things this is the interesting thing of angular we don't need to refresh these things it will automatically redirect or automatically populate your data into your application so suppose if i want to add something here suppose i want to write hello check okay so let's see you can see the hello check we don't need to refresh this thing so i want to add the navigation section here so i want this navigation so how we can get the navigation value here so if you just check here inside the navigation component there is a navbar component dot html so how we'll get these things from our app component dot html super easy so if you just go navbar app component dot ts file so you can see there is a selector that is app navbar okay so simply just use these things that is app navbar and just close this app navbar so now you can see the navbar works that means this is a selector we need to use any component so these are the navbar works and it's coming from navbar component dot html so as we are using the booster so that we can use the booster classes so simply just copy these things and let's paste these things here right and if you just go here again and let's see the neighbor section is added so just like these things but the css is not applied actually if i installed any css related things or if i use css related things that time sometimes it may not load because it's actually using the angular.json file so sometimes it not load so that reason i want to restart the server again and it should support the bootstrap after the re running the application okay so just wait a while 
so it will run very soon so it's compiled and you can see the initial chunk file okay so now if i just go here and you can see the neighbor and the search section that is exactly same like these things okay so let's modify some things so if i just go to the visual studio code again and let's remove the from section actually this from section we don't need i need a link for login a href sorry we don't need to remove the class so simply use this a neighbor and login and here just adding a link that is href and for now i am using the hash and after login we will have a sign up or profile so just get this link so write profile and then next the sign up okay so sign up will be after the login and then sign up okay so all already now let's see so if i just see this is not looking good actually we need to use a div here so that we'll get the proper design for this so just cut this and paste it inside the here under the div so now it looks good so when you click on this it actually has so jw added inside our laravel and the bootstrap added inside your application so next day we will create a link for this and we will create different different component for these things so if you have any questions about this video please comment in a below comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day